So you have asbestos tile in your basement and you want to install some carpet over it. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how we got down on this, but don't do what we do because this varies from city to city and state to state. But what's good, it's Carpet Mike here from CarpetExpertBlueprint.com. And if you are looking to dominate the carpet and flooring industry and make more money, get your lifestyle in check, then stop by CarpetRepairCheatCode.com. Link directly below the video where I'm going to show you how to make $75 to $125 per hour and you could win an electric stapler potentially. We pick a random winner every single week. Anyway, so we have asbestos tile in a basement. Now, like I said, the rules with the health departments in different states are gonna vary on this. We're gonna go ahead and install some carpet right over top of pad on this. So we're pounding tack strip right through the asbestos tile. Some people would frown on this, but if it's okay for you to do this in your area, then go ahead and use 11 16 concrete nails. This is in a basement, there's a concrete sub floor and you have the tile. You need to get through the tile to go ahead and grab into that concrete. So you need a slightly longer nail to pierce that tile and penetrate the concrete so that the tack strip will hold in place. Now, if you're in an area where this is a big frown upon type thing and you wanna be extra careful with the asbestos tile, you don't wanna disturb it and kick that up throughout your house, consider doing an indoor outdoor carpet as a glue down installation. And if you ever have to pull that out, just run for the hills because you're gonna go ahead and pull all the tile with it. But back to this video here, pretty big basic the concrete was super super installer friendly so we were able to just pound those nails directly into it and if you run into a situation where you bought tack strip that only has five ace nails get an extra bag of the 11 16s because they most likely will not make it through the tile deep enough to get into the concrete and hold in place. You'll start stretching your carpet, the tack strip will start popping everywhere, and it'll be a certified nightmare. So this is one of the few cases where the cheap, quote unquote, tack strip from all the big box stores, Lowe's, Home Depot, Menards, whatever, is actually better for the installation play on this. But installing tack strip in general, just work your way around the room, roughly a fingertip space from your baseboard, block wall, whatever your tub tucking up against and don't overthink it you know quarter inch fingertip space you're good to go don't go too big because you won't get that nice clean tuck and don't get it too close because you won't be able to tuck at all so keep that in mind while you're working but just go around the room no tin snips needed you just smack it with a hammer where you want to break it or quote unquote cut it at and nail those down in you run short of nails just pull it out smack that nail down and then take that nail and utilize it at the other side where you were missing a nail look at this man we just macgyver everything in this game this is the most basic industry out there a couple simple tools and oh my goodness you could just go ahead and make mad bank a little bit of sharpening of your skills and other than that you're good to go be careful next to the baseboards too this is where all the diy and newbie types smash them and break them in and really get an idea of how precise you got to be with that hammer but that's all for this one